What's up everyone, my name is Keith and I'm gonna talk about why I stopped putting watermarks in my photos. Now quick disclaimer before I start this video, I wanna say that I'm making this video all out of love, there is no hate, I'm not trying to bash on anyone that uses watermarks or try to say that you're dumb, stupid, or any negative connotation to anyone that does use watermarks. I'm simply giving you my two cents of why I stopped using watermarks and before I start talking about why I stopped using watermarks, I'm gonna give you some insight and tell you why I started using watermarks when I was 14 years old. When I saw pictures up on the internet, like it had Getty images on the bottom or National Geographic, I just thought, wow, those pictures are really professional. So I thought, hmm, if I put watermarks on my pictures, Will that mean I'm professional? So that's what I did. I put my name on the bottom right corner, looked at the picture online on MySpace, and was just like, damn, I am a professional photographer. I'm cool. That's the first reason I was using watermarks, and the second reason was because I wanted recognition. I wanted people to know that if they saw that picture, they know I took that picture. They see that picture and they're just like, huh, yeah, that's Keith's photo. But little did I realize that, you know, since I posted the picture, people were seeing that I posted it, meaning they already know it's mine and they don't really need a watermark to prove that because, you know, yeah, I posted the picture. And I thought that if my watermark wasn't there, people can just, you know, crop the photo, post it online and I won't be recognized. So that was my biggest fear. And maybe they could even make some money off of it, you know, stealing my work, which leads to number three. I put watermarks on my photos because I didn't want people stealing my work. I don't want people to, like I just said, crop the photo, maybe crop out the watermark. That was my biggest fear back then, just crop my watermark out and then my, my photo doesn't get recognized by me. And I was very cautious with my photos and I realized the problem was that I thought I was just way too important. I was only 14 years old. I don't think anyone would take some 14 year old photos and try to steal it, you know? And to be honest, I still use watermarks last year when I started my business. I would make it transparent, really not too noticeable, but it was still noticeable, you know? Like it was still there. And yeah, those are my reasons why I did use watermarks, and now I'm gonna tell you the reasons why I stopped using watermarks. Number one, I realized that if my photos are indeed professional looking, I don't need a watermark to prove that I'm a professional. Pictures can speak for itself, and now I realize that you don't really need to put your name on the bottom to show that, hey, I took this picture. This is a great picture because there's a watermark. And yeah, the second reason I'm countering the whole I needed recognition, I don't know, I guess I was young. I wanted people to know who I am. I just wanted my name out there, but now I realize that I don't really need people to know that I took the picture. The whole reason I take pictures is for people to look at them and smile. I want you smiling even after I've taken the picture and if I could do that without a watermark, then I know I'm doing my job. The third reason I stopped using watermarks is countering that whole reason of, oh, people might steal my pictures, people might make money. I thought about it, if someone were to steal my pictures and make money off of it, you know what I would do? Bravo, you did it. Yes, I would applaud them because yeah, they're stealing my work, but if they found out a way to, you know, get pictures that are not original, use them as content to, you know, build their business up and not credit me at all, yeah, it would suck, but I'm doing fine. And I know that if they're doing good, it's not making me do any worse, you know? So it's a win-win. If I ever met the people that stole my pictures and made money off of me, I'd be like, hey, congratulations on doing that. and. You know, it'd be great if you tagged me. Don't have to. Um, I'll just probably think less of you because, you know, you should always be tagging your photographers unless you pay them a high price and buy the rights off of them. That's understood. But yeah, that was my two cents about watermarks. I don't use them anymore. I used to. I encourage you to stop using them because they take away from composition. They're distracting. No offense, but the font is probably ugly and no one really wants to see them except for you. Imagine going to a gallery and you're super excited. You're like, oh, I'm gonna see this art from this artist I've heard about, he's really good. You walk in and then you see something like this. This is the picture that comes to mind whenever I see a watermark on a picture because I just think like, this was a great picture but the watermark ruined it. But if you do enjoy seeing the watermark and brings a smile to your face when you post them, keep using them. Don't listen to the Filipino kid on the internet, just do what you're doing. I'm Keith, you'll hear from me soon. See you later.